In this video, I forced the current 4x4 Asian record holder, Kaiwen Wang, to teach us his secret Yao technique. Alright, so, Mr. Kevin Wang actually does, especially his 4x4 Yao edges, in a very unique way that I haven't really seen anyone else do. Apart from that, for other big cubes, he likes to do another method where you do the last slash fourth Yao edge before doing centers, which I will also quickly go over in the video. All right, going straight into 4x4, after doing the first two centers, he starts just doing the first two edges normally. But there's one condition, being that he always does them in an adjacent order. So it would look like, it would look something like this, where it's these two are neighbors and they're not opposite to each other. Once we get to the third edge is where the cool shit really starts to happen. Basically, he would build the third edge and then intentionally place it in the wrong order in contrast to these other two edges. So normally this would be green here and then red, but right now we'll just throw green right next to blue. After that, just start doing the centers normally. Alright, after centers, now we get to the point where we will solve the last Yao edge, all while fixing the misplaced edge at the same time. To do this, we will solve the last Yao edge on the M slice. And right now it's really easy. It's just a one mover to set these two up. Then after that, we would move this edge next to the misplaced edge where white is a U or U prime away. So not like this and like this. After that, we just do a U or U prime to kick the misplaced edge out, move the whole cross, and then do the opposite of the first move. So right now, this would be a U because I did a U prime to kick it out. Then after that, just connect the cross and then continue on with your solve normally. Now, obviously this method can be applied onto other big cubes too. And funnily enough, he kind of told me like the lore of this method. Basically, a long time ago when he first started out doing big cubes, he knew the idea of Yao and kind of knew how it works, but was too lazy to actually search up a real tutorial. So he just ended up playing around and randomly came up with this method by accident. And he actually did do all of his Yao like this for a very long time until he heard of another method where basically you do the last Yao edge before solving centers, which looks something like this. The start is all completely the same as traditional Yao. We will have our centers done and then the first three edges already done. Basically, the only difference here is that after doing the first three Yao edges, we will immediately go ahead and do the fourth one. So like this, then we'll take this edge and then connect it onto a bar on the center. If it's a case like this where there are no bars already pre-built, we just build one ourselves. Then connect the edge onto the bar. And now whenever we want to do an R slice move, we have to do an R wide in order to keep these two connected to each other. After that, just go ahead doing centers while being careful not to break these two up. All right, after we are done with centers, we should still have this Yao edge done somewhere on the right side. We just take this, move it to the opposite side of the empty slot, do a U2 without rotating back up, then and then just move the Yao cross back. After that, just continue on with the solve normally. Wow, f this event. What the f bro? Bruh, this video was originally supposed to have him come up here and then explain the method himself so that I could just like slop back and then not have to do any work. But uh, he bailed out on me. So yeah, you get me. Woohoo. Yeah, anyways, thanks for watching this video and then go check out another TED Talk on my channel or something. I'm gonna go sleep now. I'm tired as fuck. Goodbye. Why is it not pausing? How do I pause recording?